Hi guys, this is uh, Stan from the Dutch blog and today I want to talk to you again about Zweeklanken. It's the 4th, uh, 3rd, 3rd, 4th, 4th, the 4th installment in this series and um, today we will talk about the Zweeklanken that start with an O, the last 4 of the 16. So the first one that we start with is U. U is really common. You will see U a lot and um, it's kind of an interesting one because uh, normally we have letter uh, Tveklan combinations that glide, right? It's one bit and then it's the other letter and then you glide and then it, the, it makes sense. Here it's different. So U is a combination of O and E. If you glide that you get O, O, O. Rather more like a double O, or O or so. No U. So how are you going to remember this letter? Well, there is uh, the German Ufa, which in Dutch is Ufer. So you, you, you can see that both, um, both you know, start with the U and it sounds really similar. Ufa, Ufer, right? If you compare that, for example, with uh, English, you got um, cool, right? It sounds a bit like the U in the in, in, in English, so like in cool and stuur, the Dutch equivalent. So cool, stuur. So that's all I can tell you. Yeah, it's really a um, not that that easy letter. Ui, ui is great. Um, <laughs> so ui by itself is a word as well, because ui by itself means. Oi, like, oi, like, oh my, oh goodness, you know, it's it's a, uh, it's a little shout, <laughs> a shout out. So it was comprised of u and e. So glide that, oi, oi, pretty easy. Uh, it's not that common, but you'll find it in words like hui, hui, right there, which means growth. Or this one's interesting, bui, which means um boy, right? That's the um that's the English bui. So they look pretty, and it sound pretty similar. That's kind of interesting, I thought. And you also have verbs with uh, ui, and then you have, for example, and then you have, for example, ruyen, right, to row. So then you have ruyen, ruyen. It's a lot of vowels in Dutch that just are put together there. But if you see the i at the end here, a bit like a j, you can kind of put a um, consonant there, and then it Sounds more like Ruyen. Yeah. Moving on to the next one, which is even rarer. That is Oi. <laughs> All these O sounds are incredible. So Oi is uh, really rare. You have, for example, in Hoi, which means hi, right? So you can use this for saying hi. It's not really used as, uh, for example, in English, Oi is like a shout. That's rather Ui, right? But, um, yeah, oi, it's really lonely and really just, there's not much to tell you about oi. Combination of o and e, oi, that's, that's all. Oi, that's the next one. See, oi is more common, which is nice. Oi is a combination of o and e, so it's a long oi, basically. And then if you like this, you get oi, oi, oi. There you go. Pretty easy too. So oi fire, for example, which means stork, or you have um, moi, right? Which means beautiful. Or also you have it in verbs again, same kind of thing. Have it, for example, in hoyen, which means to throw. That's uh, and that's them. That's all the Zweiklanken that I have to tell you about. You will find all the other videos around me here. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about the series. Also, do check out the blog post in the description. Um, write comments uh, as well if you, you know, tell me what you thought about this. And um, I will see you with the next series, with the next post, whatever. Bye.